Hey YouTube, State Lethal here with another video. Um, today's video is a little bit out of the ordinary in that I'm going to be showing you how to uh, set up Twitch TV and how to stream to Twitch TV. Today specifically how to record just your computer screen. So first off, you're going to want to make a Twitch uh, account. So let's just go to Twitch TV. Okay, you're gonna wanna. It should be up here somewhere. Uh, create account, register, whatever. From there, once you create your account, I want you to click down, click on your username, and I want you to click the dashboard. All right, this is the change. This is the determining factor on whether your stream will work or whether it whether it will or won't work. Okay, if you don't click on your dashboard the later on steps will not work. I need you to click on your dashboard just as I showed you right here, okay? So now that you've done that, I need you to go just Google search XSplit. Just Google search XSplit and then go to the first one right there. XSplit.com. Put that in the description obviously. And I need you to register. Um, once you get through all that stuff, it might ask you to uh, buy a key or something like that, but that's really not necessary. Uh, it is if you want super high quality stuff, but for right now, I don't recommend doing it just for the sake of this video. Then I need you to click Download XSplit Now, and I'm already a registered user. I just want to download XSplit Now. And once you're done that, you know, run all the necessary applications and go to XSplit. And this is what should pop up, XSplit, going live simple. This should pop up all that good stuff stuff. And log on. And it goes back to that weird XSplit going live. Live is simple, whatever, whatever. And just wait for it to load up. Probably just looking for some internet or whatever. Here we go, it will change your uh, Windows 7 color scheme to uh, Windows Basic, Windows 7 Basic, no biggie. And like I said, right when you open it, you will get this screen asking you to buy a, buy a key, but that's really not necessary for right now. Although it is recommended that you do buy a key, obviously. <laughs> All right, so wait 10 seconds, hit continue. And hold on, let me just change something really quick. All right, just so it looks, just so it looks like what you guys would see. And this is something on the lines of what you guys should see right about here. Actually, no, this actually isn't. Sorry. Now, this is this is what you guys should be seeing. Um, now, what I want you to do is go click on Broadcast and click on Edit Channel. Use your setting, blah, blah. And the first thing it should pop up is Channel. I want you to click on Add and Justin slash Twitch TV, same company. Little thing. And I want you to type in your username Remember how I said to go to your dashboard on Twitch TV? If you don't go to your dashboard, your channel will not show up here. So you have to go to your dashboard, okay? And uh, copy all your setting, all the settings here. Um, I have a horrible upload connection, and this stuff still worked relatively okay with um, with XSplit and whatnot. And then once you're all done, type in your username. That should pop up, a password event, and then click OK. But I'm going to click Cancel since I already have it there, but you guys would click OK. And then that should pop up right there. I want you to click Edit. And, and I don't think I showed you this part. That's why I'm going back. I want you to sh set your location to the nearest location. I live in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, so my nearest location is going to be New, going to be New York. But depending on where you guys live, just click on the nearest uh, place. Then click OK. <laughs> All right. Now I want you to pick your microphone. And I'm currently using the microphone that I'm actually recording with right there. And um, just keep all that, you know, the same. I believe Skype interaction or hide screen region might be there. Just unclick it. Uh, I don't think you need arrow or... No, and no, since I don't even have that. Actually, I'm just going to keep those checked off since it was the way I had it before. And then click OK. Actually, am I done there? Let me check. Yep, yep, yep. Resolution's OK, OK. All right, cool. 
Now you're stuck with this blank screen. And for the sake of this, I'm just going to delete those. You're stuck on this blank screen. You have your uh, Justin slash Twitch TV set up and everything. Now, what I want you to go is click on Add. And I want you, since this is for uh, computer purposes, I want you to add your screen region. And for now, I'm just going to add the whole entire thing. And that should pop up right there. And it's only going to be a small section of your screen. And so I want you to go right there, click on the corner, and just expand it to the full potential, or the full resolution or whatever. And as you can see, there are black bars on the side of the cursor. Not this part. Uh, but when you record, let me see if I can start a recording really quick. And if I go to just Twitch TV, let's watch this. Uh, not Twitter. Twitch.tv. Let me show you something really quick. Channel. Stately Fall. And uh, it should say live. Stately fall and see and, how there uh, are these should bars say on live. the side. Uh, the way to get rid of those, if you guys actually do have that, I'm gonna unbroadcast now. But the way to get rid of those is, I want you to. Uh, this is where I want you to right click on the screen and make it stay. Then I want you to click on position, and then this is gonna look weird for now. But I want you to click on. See how? Whoops. See how keep aspect ratio is checked off? If you unclick that, the black boxes will disappear, and boom. And I know it looks weird, but if I go to broadcast, and I minimize that, and I go back, close that, go to restore session, it should once again Hold on, wait for it. It should say live. Any second now. Should once again. Okay. Hold on, wait for it. It's it a should say live because of the internet. But as you can see, most of the black lines are Any gone now. I don't know what's up. With should that right once there. again. Okay. As you can see, a lot of little lags because now. So right when you're done with that, I'm gonna unbroadcast again. But that's only if you do see those lines. And now that I'm not streaming anymore, I'm just going to take off uh, loop aspect ratio. I mean, keep aspect ratio just for the sake of this. And uh, most of the stuff that you're going to be doing is right here. Add media file, for instance. If you want to put up a, like your profile picture or something like that, just drag it over to the corner. And right there. Just minimize it to your liking, pretty much. And there you go. Um, you can uh, add a title or add text, which is pretty, I'm just going to put boss, and then press OK. As you can see, it says boss. And all this stuff will be available on your stream. And that's pretty cool. And last but not least, if I set this up according, um, you can also add your camera. I don't know if this will work or not. I've never done this before. My camera sucks anyway. But as you can see, I'm right here, YouTube. And uh, yeah, it's like late, but I'm just going to unclick that. But yeah, that's my little um, how to start a stream on, you know, Twitch TV for your screen at least if you're playing like League of Legends or Minecraft or something like that all you have to do is from now is just go to broadcast Twitch TV and then if you go to Twitch TV everything will be there everything will be nice and pretty up there I'm going to put my Twitch in the description and I hope this helped you out especially for the people with the black bars on the side I know that definitely did help me out just click keep aspect ratio and just try to work with what you can see I guess because it's really hard looking at it or just do that and then just edit stuff from there because it'll, it'll be a lot easier to just edit stuff instead of looking at the infinite death screen before you start and you can also set up different scenes so 
if uh that's the cool part if you want to just be like uh let's see add media file stately fall productions don't keep the aspect ratio please for that picture just fill the whole entire thing and then maybe add some text or a title and then uh, away right now be right back and then maybe a nice scrolling normal okay and as you can see it's a nice little scrolling text I could probably make it a little bit smaller uh, Let's see, can I change the settings? Oh, oh, here we go, settings. And, uh, configure, whoops. I hate when it does that. And, um, settings, title, configure, and then just make it a lot smaller. Um,. That, no, that's that's how clear it is. But yeah, you guys get the idea. You can make it smaller somehow, I'm pretty sure. But no clue right now how. But yeah, that's how to uh, set up some scenes. And uh, of course with the scenes, I'm going to have that active. And maybe, you know, webcam active also if I'm doing one of those kinds of streams. And... Uh, I hope this guy I hope this helps you out especially if the especially if you have the black screen or if you weren't able to connect um like I said all you have to do is go to uh the dashboard and all you also have to do is um go on to the what's it called but yeah hope this helped you out guys and I hope you have a good night since it's super late at night and I'll uh, see you guys later peace